now for something new and improved and completely different. This is Why in the World. Well, let's go and get some clams. You know, I've done this once before. It's a little bit of work, but it's kind of fun. Let's get some clams. You know, in New Zealand we call them cockles. In America they call them clams. And uh, you can basically dig them up. You can go to the beach, dig them out of the sand. They're not always the easiest things to find and to do though, especially to get a good size one. But I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna show you what to do. Let's head off. Okay, before we get started with uh, harvesting some cockles out of the ocean. Let's just talk a little bit about biotoxins. So clams, you know, uh, cockles, mussels, oysters, etc, etc. These um, shellfish, they're filter feeders, so they, you know, they eat little microscopic bits of organic matter out of their environment. And they build up biotoxins, and biotoxins are poisonous to people. This is how you get stories and stuff of people getting sick from eating shellfish. So if you have a look on the link in the description, if you're going to harvest any shellfish in New Zealand, um, first of all, make sure you uh, follow the rules <laughs> regarding how many you can take, but also you want to make sure there are no biotoxin alerts. This website below will tell you about the biotoxin alerts. And this app here, the Ministry of Fisheries app, will tell you how many of everything that you can take. Welcome to Sumner Beach. Okay, some gear that you're gonna need for going out there in the water. Sunglasses, a hat, some sunscreen, spade or a shovel is a good idea or you could use a smaller garden tool like a trowel and a bucket and some gloves are handy too otherwise you're gonna rough up your hands Tiny one, don't want that one. Another tiny one, don't want that one. Another small one, don't want that one. Can be a wee bit like looking for a needle in a haystack for you know the nice big juicy ones. Another little one. For every one big one, you may find a potentially larger number of small ones. Here's a medium-sized one. you've got to dig into the ground is because the seagulls are always here the birds are always here and then at low tide the other people are always here so you're not going to just find nice big clams lying around on the surface you don't, have, you don't always have to dig really really close to the ocean sometimes you know far away where we are now there's some people over there they're actually fairly close to the road. Sometimes, look at that. You can get some decent sized clams. Here's another reasonably medium sized one. It's always a bit of a, um, <coughs> a bit of a gambling, a bit of a, a bit of a gamble digging these guys up. You'll 
dig in one spot and you'll just get nothing and you'll get nothing and you try a different spot and you'll get a whole bunch Sometimes what you'll actually see is you'll see when you don't have thousands and thousands of them uh, you know, under the sand What you'll sometimes see is you'll see just a little dimple That's where the clam is and you've actually got to dig down into right where that little dimple is to get the clam You find a little dimple Like that and then you come in and dig You're done Low, steady pressure. Hopefully you don't break it. There it is, right there. <laughs> yes. Grab it. I will. You've got to look for sand that's basically muddy. You know, muddy sand. That's where filter feeders like to hang out. You know, the clams. Well, let's go out into the uh, ocean over here. We'll do what they're doing. Get any to what they're doing. second about what do you do once you've got them. So I got some pretty good sized ones here. I've washed them all off, I've rinsed them several times. They're all pretty good size. What you want to do is you have to basically keep these in seawater. So the best thing to do is actually take the ocean water while you're here, fill up you know like half the bucket. You've got to keep them in that water for probably a couple of days. Most people say one to two days. The reason is that clams being filter feeders, they've got sand in their guts, it's in there. So you've got to basically hold them for you know, one to two days, essentially let what's in their bowels come out. So you'll come home, you'll store these just in the seawater that you've got, and they will, they will expel, they will spit out that sand that's in them. Because if you just cook them straight away, you're going to be eating clams with sand in them. It's not that tasty. Don't fall over. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> this is the end of the video. Why in the world would you do this? Well, it's free. But you know, I've got to spend like 10 bucks in gas to drive out here and then drive back, so I don't know if it makes fiscal sense. Anyway, have fun.